In this video, we're going to focus on creating what we call a ruler line or an interval line where we have all the decimals being highlighted with every additional line here and highlighting the 0 0.5 line in the center. So let's start to look how to do this. The first thing we need to do is get a border template, which you can find here in charges3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel for any questions. All the links are in the description box. The first thing what I will do is I will modify the data here because we're going to assume that every tick step will be about one or will be a value of one. So that will be very specific for this case. So what I'm going to say here, uh, step size here, comma, step size will be one. So if I save this, probably will not work because we have just too much. Uh, the values are higher and it just doesn't work on that. So what I will do is for now here, I'll just modify this and just put everything below 10. Let's save that. And there we are. So now we have a segment of one. So we have all these lines here. And what I want to do, of course, is to have the 0.5 line thicker. So it will stand out easier. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to scroll down, put in here comma plugins and then what I will say here I will create here a interval or ruler tick mark so interval tick mark tick marks like that copy this and then start to create our constant here this is our plugin so I'm going to say this and then we say here before data sets draw once we did this chart arcs and plugin options then what i want to do is an object destructuring equals this is that and then we say here for the chart object i want to have the ctx i probably want to have the options just in case and then the scales and then say here x and y scale so once we did this what i want to do is while we have here the step size i just want to extract this one by default so how do i do this i'm going to say here constant step size and then what I will do is the options here basically this option is a jump into this here and from here I can just go to scales y and I realize that this is even incorrect it should be in the ticks and then step size equals one so that's the right order let me just refresh that all right nothing changes but this is the right order my bad then I will just say here I'll just follow this path here scales dot y dot ticks dot step size by doing this if i do now console log on step size we got our item here there you are number one you might wonder why are we not using this one because this one doesn't allow these are the default settings and not the standard settings or not our options that we are changing you can see here what you could do if you see here uh, step size you don't see anything here maybe here there is none what you could do is probably calculate the difference between tick one and tick two or this one but that is just extra work you can this step here what i'm doing makes it easier all right so now we have this the next thing what we have to do is calculate the segment so once we have this here we know the segment so constant segment and if you're wondering what is a segment i want to know here basically from this point to here how many pixels in height is this? Because then I can calculate where I can draw the lines. So we're going to say here for the segment, what I will do here is I'll say y dot get pixel for value. And then we say here step size. We know that this is number one, so that's just given. And in this case, it is really built for a step size of one. But then we're going to say we will deduct this compared to the zero value which is or the zero value here so we can calculate this exact difference once we once we have this let's do a console log segment save refresh there we are we have now 32 or negative 32 i realize that maybe we can change that in the opposite direction and the reason why is because it's zero minus step size why because as you go higher this is close to the zero. This is closer to whatever the value is. I think that's 350. So this is a higher value compared to this. So this is maybe 350 and this is 270, 320 or something like that. And you can see the difference about 32 pixels. 
That's the number I need to know. We can divide this by 10 so we know every ruler mark or tick mark or interval tick mark will be positioned. So let's start to work on that. So what I'm going to do now is a constant, you can call it interval segment, where I just break it down again into 10 pieces, where I say I want to grab the segment divided by 10. Now we get the pixel of probably 3.2 pixels, and that's the position of every line or the, the distance from one to another. So once we did this, we can now continue on. Let's do a ctx.save to save all default variables above. And then we're going to start working on this. So what I need to do here is a few things. We need to loop through every tick or tick mark basically or every tick. And then we have to loop again with the interval of creating eight lines, which one of them, the 0 0.5 line would be a more thicker visible line. So it's easy to see the position. So what I'm going to do here is let's do this first. We're going to say console log. And I'm going to say here the Y. I'm going to grab here how many ticks we have because I need to calculate it automatically. Click on this, go here on the Y, you can see here the ticks and we can see here a length of 10. That's what we need. But of course we need to uh, recalculate it later on or deduct it later on by one. So we have everything from zero to nine. Anyway, I'm going to say here ticks. And then we're going to say here the length. And then so I'm going to say here constant tick length equals this one here but then I say minus one so we get that value so that's the first value that we need the second value we will be needing is or well not even second value yet let's get this and get a for loop so I'm going to say here um, let's get the y dot ticks dot for each loop not the for loop but a for each loop and then we say here for every tick an index function error expression we're going to loop through this and what I want to do is I want to loop and build specific lines here so let's uh, say here first of all ctx I'll begin path because what I'm saying here is I want to create a new shape a line independent of anything else that's number one then what I want to do is I want to give it a color so I say ctx dot stroke style and let's make this red for now very straightforward and then I will make it a line thickness so say ctx that line width and give it a 0 0.5 which is the default thickness of each line right now of our grid so once we did this we can now start to do a position so i'm going to say here ctx that move tool and then we're just going to grab the positioning of x and y and i'm going to explain to you what we have to do later on with that so what we just want to do right now is we want to make sure we have these lines here moving them from one side to another so we're going to start here and then we go backwards. So that will be in a negative direction. So if we start there, where do I need to start? Let's start at the zero. And then later on, we're going to fine tune that. So what I can do here, and we could even do it for each of them. We can just grab this. Uh, oh, sorry, probably there. No, this is a horizontal. So what I need to do here is I need to know what is this position here. I think we can just say here y dot right to have the right side that is no problem then you have like this right side here if you say left it would be here at the very beginning so that's the right side then what I want to do here for the y on vertical level I just going to grab one of these values it's going to grab this value this is our starting point and this starting point will be the index because I'm going to loop through every one of them then what I want to do is a ctx line tool and the line tool will have additional values as well uh, we will have a straight line so this is fine or this is correct but this is a straight line but we have to go more to the backwards so I'm going to say here minus five pixels so what will happen is we'll start here and go backwards five pixels once we did that we say ctx dot stroke to draw the command save refresh and as you can see here now I'm not sure you're able to see let's make it thicker let's make it three pixels save refresh you can see we had the lines now that's the first step of course I don't want it on that because that is not the position we need to now reposition them correctly so let's do that so I'm going to put this back and I'm going to have here these the interval segment what I need with that is I'm going to loop through here so what I'm going to do here is now uh, let's see here we can do this probably 
I'll do this above here. And I'm going to say here a for each loop or for loop. And I say here, let i equals zero. And I think we don't even have to do zero, but we can do one because zero would be the very starting point. I want to start up here and make eight lines between these two or nine lines, sorry, nine lines between zero and one. There should be nine lines. So we can say this should be number one. And then we're going to say here the following. We're going to say here, we're going to loop through it as long as this is smaller or equal to nine. And then we say here, I plus plus to increment that. Once we did this, I'm going to cut out all of this, put it in here. Then we have all of that. Let's save that. Refresh. We have nothing yet because we need to put in the interval segment. So what I want to do here, we have this here. What I want to do here now is a plus the interval segment multiplied by the i because I'm looping through this from one all the way till nine. So once I did this, I do the same here now because we want to have a straight line. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this ruler line that looks absolutely phenomenal, but we're not done here. Look at this here. This should not be there. Uh, we need to fix that one. Uh, let's see how can we do this and I guess in this case you can see here it goes from zero it goes down here and the reason why this goes down is because we had this here instead of negative I changed this it was a positive number so that's why it sees it like that if I would change this one back probably it will go up and nine will be sticking out and I think I want that let's save that refresh there you are you can see here now it sticks out from the upper part which is easier for me Although both are same as well, because we're just going to say, if we are on index nine, skip drawing the lines. Let's, let's solve that one right away. So what I'm going to do here is, um, very simple. If we're going to say here the index for, oh, sorry, that's not in there. Sorry, but it should be here. If the index would be equal strict to nine, in that case, or if it's not equal to nine, then we draw everything and else we will not continue on drawing. So we want to go outside of the chart area. That's basically what we're doing here. Save this, refresh. There we are. So now we've solved one part. I want to continue on. I want to make these just gray, but then I want to have a, the center, the 0 0.5 value or the nine for an 8.5 and etc. should stick out should be longer and should have a different color. So how do we do this? This, I'll just make this the official color, which is RGBA 102, 102, 102, comma 0 0.5, if I'm not mistaken, there we are, or 0 0.2, it's one or the other, but I think 0 0.5 is fine. So now let's get the color stick out. So what I'm going to do here is the following with the for, for, for loop. We're just going to say here, in here, um, we're going to grab what exactly, say if. And then what I want to do here is i equals strict number five. Only then, we can just maybe just copy all of this. I'll put it in here. And then I'll just assign it, make it thicker. And I'll make this red. And then what I want to do as well is instead of five i'll make this seven so it will be a longer thicker more clearer line and else we just have like this and then we can just say here um else we're just going to copy this put it in there and of course you can make this nicer but this is just easy to understand and then we have to make sure we have the stroke here because this is the command to draw save refresh and now we have them here. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit so you can see that. There you are, you say here, this is four, and then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and then here, 0 0.5. Then we have here, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then five as the value. And now we have our interval or ruler line on our Y scale. 